Welcome, you have reached review time with Imperial. Today's review will be the Netflix original series, The Order, season one. Let's get into it. Now, uh, this series originally came out in 2019. I just happened to catch on to it through the COVID-19 and everybody self-quarantine. And I'm uh, looking for material to watch, content to watch. So I came across this series and actually season two is uh, just was released. So I'm going to get card up. So this is my review after season one. So you have all my cast of characters. No, no, no characters are too familiar that I've seen before. But um, the character, the cast, you have um, Alisa Drake, Jake Morton. Randall, Vera, Harnish, Kyle, Pete Morton, Edward Comertry, Gabrielle Dupreeze. That's pretty much the main characters. Then there's a bunch of other characters in there. So basically, uh, this plot of the story is you have a guy who's being raised by his grand um, grandfather and his grandfather used to work for the school as a janitor and he has grew up his whole life knowing the history of the school which is the school is called Belgrave University and he always you know put forth the effort to he never knew his father his mother died when she he was young and he pretty much grew up hating his father and knowing who his father was, but the father didn't know about him. So he grew up hating the father and the father was has been alleged to be part of a secret society. And his goal was always to get... Um, selected to be part of this secret society and get to the school so he applied for the school and he always go to his mom's grave to talk and he had the letter pretty much trying to talk to the mom and when he read the letter initially it stated that he didn't get the get in he didn't get in and on the opposite end while he was reading the acceptance letter or rejection letter, the Belgrave uh, Secret Society was sending out messages to all the people who were supposed to be part of it. And so one of the women who that's part of the Secret Society, Vera, she pretty much was, for whatever reason, wanted to give him a chance. And right while he was reading it, the magical letters started to change on the letter. And then said he was accepted. So he went from sad, feeling that, uh, he went from sad, feeling that he didn't make it to instantly turning around, happy that he made it, or whatever. So he went back, told his grandpa, or whatever. And meanwhile, Vera knew what she just did. So. They got new uh, people that they want to try to join the society. So once you get on campus, if you receive a blue rose, which you see the picture of right there, then that's your like greeting to get uh, selected for the selection for the secret society. So as soon as he get on campus and his grandpa dropped him off he got snatched up but for another organization and that organization pretty much um he didn't want to be a part of that because he knew he wanted to be part of that secret society group now they start off by saying like uh in real life um oprah michelle obama all these different people are part of a secret society. I mean, you hear the stories, but you you never know what's what. So they spent off of that for the sh for the uh, show. And so, um, 
what happened from there when he he met this kid was kind of giving him like trouble he just got there and he got he could fight so the kid tried to fight him and he pretty much um showed some moves and threw the kid on the ground meanwhile in come this other girl that's a tour guide person basically was like hey you guys stop fooling around or whatever so she's in the process of giving the tour guide but he knows more information about the campus than her and he pretty much just start rambling running off of what different stuff was in the campus and she was like well how he knew this so he printed up and pretty much stole her show and gave the tour or whatever so you can instantly see um she was going to be his love interest from the beginning and that's Alyssa. That's the other person in the picture that you see right there. So, it start off there. When he gets back to the dorm that day, he walks into his dorm room and instantly he see the guy that he had beef with had the blue rose. And when he went into the room, he knew he was his. He looked at his weird um, roommate. And so his weird roommate was pretty much like, yo, don't ever touch my stuff, whatever, whatever. And, you know, walked off. And his RA was like, hey, you want to change, speak to me about changing uh, roommates? If not, that'd be it. So then from there, um, you pretty much things start to take off. He ended up getting a, a blue rose from Vera to show up to like the secret location. And they pretty much, you know, everything takes off from there. So this is actually a deep, long season one because it's a lot that goes on. And it was a good series. It's a lot going on. This review will not do no justice for pretty much because it's going to be a long review because it's a lot of content and one season to go off of. So that pretty much was like the beginning plot of this show before everything starts to take off or whatever. So what it comes down to you have good versus evil but it's two different groups and pretty much one group thinks the other group is bad but the other group is not really bad all the all of them not really bad so um the secret society their group, they're a group of witches. They use uh, witchcraft and um, witchcraft and magic to maneuver and get through or whatever. So he pretty much. Uh, He's into it all. The girl, Vera, or not Vera, Vera is the main person. Alyssa, he's asking her questions. And at first she came off like she didn't know what he was talking about. But when they got into the secret location, she had her mask on. He recognized her voice like, I know that's her. You know what I'm saying? So what's been happening, taking place on the campus is that a wolf... Is killing all the contestants of the the new people that are trying to become part of the secret society. They are one by one getting plucked off. And so when it came down to like the last event for them to get on, Jake was supposed to once he didn't, uh, Jack, my, my boy, Jack, 
was supposed to be shown dust because he didn't finish so he could forget his memory of everything that took place. But Alyssa didn't do it because she attached to him. She knew people was up against him. The guy, one of the guys wanted his boy to get in and he kind of pretty much fudged Jack's chance of getting in. So, um, Judge Jack was pretty much upset, like, hey, he mistreated me. So, it was a surprise visit came from the head guy, which is Edward Coventry, which is Jack's father. But Ed Edward don't know that that's his son, and Jack's not going to tell him, but he made a surprise visit. He met everybody, seeing that Alyssa is like, Somebody had strong potential or whatever. So you got werewolves killing people. You got witches and witchcraft using magic. Some of them good, some of them bad. And so that's the whole pretty much. And Edward Coventry, he wants to, he got, he's like the head of all the witchery and everything, but he wants to become even more like pretty much um, immortal. And so he, in return, instead of uh, just being happy with his powers, he wants to get deeper. So it's all these mystical books and everything like that. And he's finding pieces by pieces to put pieces together with the book to increase his power. Meanwhile, one night... One day while Jack is running, he he stumbles upon a house in the woods. So he's being chased by the wolf. So he runs in the house. And once he runs in the house, he's still being chased by the wolf. And he runs in the basement. And he hides in this room that had lights on. And inside of this box, there's something inside of it so he ended up opening the box and whatever it was it jumped on him and it looked like it just like covered him up like the blob or something but it really was uh the it's a wolf so then he became a wolf and not know he became a wolf or whatever and then he woke up and he found out the wolf things that was killing all the contestants for the secret society they're really the good guys they're called the night's watch where they're pretty much there to lay order and they know that the secret society group is is bad so they believe they all bad so they are there to stop them they don't know where their headquarters at they don't have any of that information jack on the other hand does know because he's been snooping around but now he's a wolf. And so these wolves is four of them. And it's a lot, so it's a lot going on. So I'm just rambling right there. But as, as I'm thinking about it, more and more uh it's coming out. More and more of what's happening. There's so much going on at once. So the main part is you have Jack who's been selected in the secret society learning magic then on the flip side he's been selected by the wolves group and so he's both so he's part wolf and part of the magic and he's in between so that's the whole plot of the whole C series is him uh trying to balance order between both his alliance is stronger with the um nice watch people but he love he he's in love with Alyssa, and so he really likes her. So he still wants to be part of the the magic secret society. I mean the secret service group. However, or secret society group. However, his vengeance is to get with Edward Covington, which is his dad. That's his vengeance. Edward Covington also has a son, a little son. And so that kind of makes him feel some type of way too. Like he don't even know that I exist here. He has another son or whatever. So uh, it's a real good series. Um, it's a lot of different events that happen that build up. 
the end result of season one is Edward fights and gets all the pieces together to become stronger. They manipulate um, him in the end uh, that he so he wouldn't get the full power. He ended up losing all his powers and turned to dust. Meanwhile, um, Jack. Alyssa became a higher power in the or secret society. And Jack pretty much, he was going to basically do his own thing where he um, was going to continue to play both sides. However, the main lady, Vera, who ended up becoming higher power because all the other people was getting killed with the war going on, she... Told Alyssa pretty much like he's never gonna accept like the secret society way, so you gotta kind of let him go in a sense. And so they got this magic dust that they blow on you, forget everything that took place, and your memory is pretty wiped out. And so uh, the nice wash people that were of the wolves. Where they joined forces with the people with the magic so they could stop Edward. And then once it was all over and they stopped them, each one of them individually was somewhere and then the magical dust got blown in their face so that they forget pretty much everything that took place. So you don't know if they fully forget everything that took place, whether they were actually werewolves or, or if they just forgot like who the actual secret society is and where their headquarters was and where everything was at so vera used that magical dust and she retrieved all this artifacts that the grand um jack had the grandpa that raised them he had <clears throat> excuse me all these artifacts of different times in history and all this stuff so she retrieved all that information and she retrieved information from the wolves as well. So while they was knocked out, she retrieved this information. So Vera and the Secret Society has the upper hand right now. So uh, you kind of in the series like, oh man, you know what I'm saying? So you thought it was going to be a peace treaty. But basically by Vera doing that, it's keeping the war going on. And But you don't know if they forgot everything. So, you, uh, pretty much from there, when Jack came to, he was visiting his grandpa at the time at the burial site of the grandpa and the um, mom, and Alyssa was there with him, and she blew the dust in his face, and he passed out, and then when he came to, Vera acted like she just was there voluntarily and you know like she and you know she was great get emotional cry but she walked off he got up he didn't even know where he was and she was like yeah you just said your grandpa caught a stroke or whatever but the grandpa was killed by his uh father or whatever so um she was hurt and she walked off and then he asked her like what was your name and she kept walking or whatever so you like, ah, oh, man. So it, it left you hanging where pretty much uh, you didn't um, know exactly what's going to take place. So it's going to intrigue you for season two. And then, yes, season two is here. And the Secret Society, their name is the Her Hermetic Order. You know, so... Um, so it's pretty much uh, the plot of it is just basically um, Jack, he uncovers the dark secrets of the secret society and they battle with the werewolves and the magical arts, you know, and um, that's pretty much it. So it's definitely a good watch, definitely keep you in tune, it's a lot going on. This review does not give it justice. That's 10 episodes of tons of content. This is just like an overall view of it from my perspective. I'm going to give this out of my four star rating system. I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of four stars.
four stars would be perfect. I can't really point out any two things that was just like wrong, but you know, four would be perfect. So I'm just getting a 3.5 out of four stars for season one of The Order. Subscribe and like to this channel. Leave a comment if you have seen it. Till next time.